The question is, do they have the power to step in and take over enforcement of federal immigration laws? Constitutional lawyer Renee Hicks says now that the Department of Justice has filed a suit, the next step will be to request a preliminary injunction. If granted, this would say there's going to be irreparable harm to the interests of the United States if this law goes into effect. This law seems likely to be unconstitutional. But because the American Civil Liberties Union and other civil rights groups are also suing Texas over the same bill, he says it's likely the courts might choose to have a joint hearing on the cases. It would nearly certainly be both sets of plaintiffs, that is the United States and the private plaintiffs, having a hearing in front of the same judge with the same set of defendants coming in trying to argue that there should not be a preliminary injunction issued. If the court chooses to issue an injunction while the case is being heard, Texas can ask the Fifth Circuit of Appeals to stay the decision instead. Then, depending on how the Fifth Circuit rules, any party can make an emergency appeal to the Supreme Court, which it may take quickly with the law set to take effect in March. Some of the justices don't like that term, but it's called a shadow docket where it's not like your typical case that's briefed, argued, and decided months later. They just do a quick turnaround of a week or two or three and issue a temporary ruling. However, Hicks says it's important to understand that this process is not either of the higher courts ruling on the substance of the legal challenge, which requires a ruling from the district court first. That could take the Supreme Court much longer, perhaps one or two years, if it chooses to hear the case at all. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.